Okay, my name's Peter. Peter Ascroft, and uh, I've been farming uh, ever since I was a young child. I left school when I was 15 um, to work on the farm. We grow mainly cauliflowers, cabbages, uh, potatoes, red beetroots, yellow beetroots, uh, wheat and barley. Now some years you make money uh, and quite a lot of the years you lose money because you've no control of the weather and you've no control over the prices that you receive. Um, we've been supplying the local markets in this area all my life and all my father's life. I also supply Booth supermarkets with cauliflowers and cabbages and uh, they've been a great help to me because they buy local and try to support uh, the local farming industry uh, in this area. Look, yes, these are beetroots, these are the yellow beetroots. We're going to be harvesting beetroots after lunch. A yellow beetroot, and if I just cut it, you see it's bright yellow in the middle. I call them Lancashire pineapples. These are candy beetroots. And if you pull, just pull one of those up, cut it in two. Looks like raspberry, raspberry ripple. Restaurants usually take these, and uh, they're just some, just something different, more of a novelty than anything else. We grow um, white cauliflowers and we grow, we grow Romanesco in September, August, September, October, which are the green pointy ones. Here you can see a cauliflower just waiting, waiting to be cut. It's just about ready now. That cauliflower will be perfect for cutting tomorrow. One of the old tricks that we do is to fold the leaf over to stop the sun getting at the curd and that'll keep it nice and white. Otherwise uh, when the sun shines it makes them go yellow. There's nothing wrong with a yellow cauliflower, it's just like uh, a little bit of you getting sunburned. People like uh, bronze bodies, but people won't eat bronze cauliflowers. <laughs> One of the most important things when growing cauliflowers is, uh, is the moon. This, uh, as the moon is coming to the full, we get usually nine times out of ten you'll get a lot of cauliflower and uh, there's something in the gravitational pull of the moon or the light levels when the moon is full that uh, alters the growth cycle in the cauliflower. Now these here are what you call Romanesco cauliflowers and uh, they're basically for this time of the year Although we have had trials with some new varieties and we did have them at the end of July. Normally if you, if you grow them in the middle of summer, they just all blow. But at this time of the year, they're, it's the ideal time, September, October. And it's called Romanesco. And you just treat it like a normal cauliflower. Beautiful. Okay. One of the great advantages that we've got with farming in Lancashire, it can be an advantage and a disadvantage, is that we have plenty of water. It always seems to rain uh, on the west coast in this area, and that's uh, a thing that will become increasingly important in the future as the east, as the southeast gets drier. At least we've got plenty of water in Lancashire. Just harvested uh, these cauliflowers now this morning. Um, we start cutting every morning at seven o'clock and we hope to have them harvested by lunchtime and then uh, they go into the uh, cool room for a couple of hours until the trucks pick them up and they're straight into the uh, 
through the supermarkets tomorrow morning and uh, off to the local markets so they're really fresh and in good condition. Usually though, uh, Sheriff's wagons are here by the time we get back at lunchtime to pick up Booth Collies and uh, they're taken in refrigerated trucks uh, to Preston to the depot where they are uh, sorted for each shop and then distributed uh, at night to each shop throughout Lancashire and uh, Cumbria, Yorkshire and now Cheshire.